welcome to another update on these little epic ACW figures. So what we have in front of us now is another Confederate Brigade, and I've done these as early war this time. Uh, and what I've done is I've given them all kepis as well, so I just chopped off all the hats. The PVA glue on the finger. Uh, and they've all got kepis now. I went a bit mad with his blanket roll. So, come on base. I've got my three guns. Uh, and I've just adjusted the position of that back guy, so he's come to the front here. Uh, I give him all kepis as well, apart from this one. Which I'm, I don't know that one, this one. Uh, for some reason I give these all grey rather than the grey and the blue, but hey ho, never mind. Um, this is the brigade that I've just completed. Uh, the regiment I've just completed to finish this brigade. Uh, and on this one I've put a little casualty marker. Uh, well not marker, just casualty. And I've got them from Callistra. Uh, going to a bit more about that in a minute, I think. So, command stand, early war, two flags per regiment rather than just the one. So, these have all got the blue pants on. I say pants because they're American, but really, I mean trousers. Uh, so these were the guys that are in the basin video, South Carolina Volunteer Zouaves. And command stand. Uh, I quite fancy doing these because of bright yellow trousers and I'm going to do Louisiana Tigers next. So that's them. Let's bring up the next regiment. So these got blue trousers again. All standard, I can't remember what state flag I've given. Is it Florida? Can't remember. Uh, but there's not enough of them little labels to cut out and put on bases, so <laughs> I suppose I should have put one on them for use it as a reference point. I might do that in future. So that's them. I suppose I'll show you from the back as well. That's the backs of them. You can go mad with blanket rolls, just a few different colours. And the very last one, I've done these all grey. And, uh, some people might say that I've gone a bit out of the top with the highlighting, going three stage highlighting on these tiny fingers, but I think they look, they just really pop when you do that. I won't be doing that with the Union, I've got a much quicker method for painting them. So, another brigade added. We put them all back. So if I do a little flyby. Now, typically, uh, at this period of the war, throughout the war, really, the Confederate Army would have had five regiments to a brigade. Uh, but just to keep myself sane, I'm just doing four at the minute, and then I will move up. When I do any reenactments of any battle, replays of any battles, I will go with the five regiments or whatever the order of battle says. So, that's our brigade. And then, of course, this is the all the Confederates I've got done so far. So it's starting to look quite impressive now. I'm really liking this must battle look. So you've seen these ones before, but I'll do a quick fly over. So this is old army. Now this limber is from Clearstar. I'll bring that point in a minute. For you to have another look at. Closer look. So yeah, that is the Confederates so far. Looking good, I think. Okay, let me just put this back on a tripod. Yeah, you can really start to get the feel for this mass battle. So when I get another 
two or three battalions done will start to uh, brigades done will start to look really good. So, Calistra, um, I know Warlord do these as well. Uh, I think the Warlord is 15 quid and you only get one, or it might be 12 quid. I don't know, I can't remember off the top of my head. But these were six pounds for two. So basically, it's three pound each, which I thought was quite a bargain. But what I will do in the future is I've given this one six horses, but I think how they line up with the guns, I might just go with four horses on the future ones that I build. I just think it looks better if it just sat neatly behind the guns rather than sticking out as much as it does. So, yeah, not bad, are they? Uh, I just realised I haven't finished the basin on these. <laughs> Difficult. I'll put them out of the way a minute. Yeah, very nice, aren't they? So, with that in mind, I've also got uh, some other bits and pieces. So, I've got these open wagons. You get three of these for six quid, and they do a closed wagon as well, and you get two of them. So, I'm going to buy... I haven't got the closed ones yet, but I will get them and uh, they'll be good for little scenarios like a wagon train ambush sort of thing, supply ambush. So there's me casualties, you get a whole bag, I've got a whole bag of them, 62 for 30 I think it is, you get quite a lot. Uh, and there's some Zwarves. Are these Zwarves? Yeah. Uh, because you don't get enough stands in the box to make up what I need. So I'm going to have to substitute a few of these in uh, to make up, finish off these wild regiments. So anyway, uh, if you want to see what's going on, quite a bit. All this union, so I'm doing a whole union brigade next. Uh, so then I'll have two units of union and two units of confederates. Uh, and I think getting somewhere. I think when I've got three brigades of each, I can start to have some half decent sized games. I've got the cavalry as well to do. But anyway, that's it. That is the Confederate Army so far. Um, I'll put some stills on at the end as normal. I'll catch you in the next one.